Hey guys, I'm gonna run you through a titration of three different sodas. I'm gonna do 7-Up Sprite Ginger, which I guess is a thing. I've not really tried that yet in CRMS. Okay, so what I have back here, okay, I'm in my little prep room, is a burette now. Burettes are typically where you sta store your standardized solution. And my standard solution, okay, is gonna be 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So I'm literally gonna be dropping the base into my sample containers. Now these sample containers all contain some clear soda. Uh, it's important that they're clear because we're looking for a color change. Because prior to starting this video, I've added phenolphthalein indicator solution. And there's a nice spelling word for you, phenolphthalein. And this is an indicator that turns pink in the presence of a base. So I'm gonna be titrating these three sodas, which are acidic in content. And I'm gonna add from the burette, okay, down into my, um, my vessel here, the Erlenmeyer flask holding the soda. I'm gonna be adding some base dropwise until I get a steady, uh, pink color, which phenolphthalein turns pink in the presence of a base. And I'm going to keep track of the volume of base added for these three sodas. And because I know the concentration of this, and because I'm going to figure out the, the volume of the base added to get to that equivalence point, the end point, I'm sorry, um, I'll be able to figure out the concentration of the soda because I'm using 50 milliliters of soda each time. So I'll have 50 milliliters of the Sierra Mist, 50 milliliters of the ginger ale, I'm sorry, the Sprite ginger, and then 50 milliliters of the seven up. So we'll have three out of the four numbers to use MA, VA to figure out our, our titration and ultimately the strength of our acid. So the molarity of the acid. So going to, again, I started my burette here at zero. I'll include a picture of that there here in a moment. And what I'm going to do is add the base. Okay, get you a good angle here. Okay, add the base. And we're going to be looking for a steady color change. And okay, I'm going to do this while holding the camera. So I'm going to you, you twist this burette knob up here. And it opens up the flow okay, of base down into the container. Now watch this. See, it went a little bit pink there, didn't it? A little bit pink, a little bit of pink. Okay, and then it steadily goes away. Now I'm gonna agitate this, okay, each time. And what you wanna do is you add enough that the pink stays and lingers for a little bit. Okay, it's kind of nice to stick a white piece of paper underneath. Okay, so you can see that color change a little bit more, okay as time progresses. Now the light, the pink is sticking around a little bit longer each time. Okay, so I'm gonna pay close attention. Add a few drops at a time. Swirl it around. And you do this um, until the pink lingers and then you get the volume information. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna be and again, we're testing Sierra Mist right now. Okay. Getting closer, getting closer. I'm almost there. Okay.
Get some linger in there. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. okay. Seemed to hit a nice rose color. Oops. Make it again. And that's pretty much what we got going for us. Okay. That's what you want to stick around. Now it eventually fade a little bit, but that's the number we want. And I'm reading that we used about 33 milliliters. Okay, 33 milliliters. So we'll go ahead and record that number down. So 33 milliliters uh, for our CR mist. Okay. My burette's leaking. Okay, that's not good. Um. So 33 milliliters for my Sierra Mist. Okay. 